Hey everybody, it's me, the Illuminator, and I am finally back. Whew. So, today I'll be showing you the bracelet that I promised in my video that I posted, I think, like, a week ago. And here it is. Uh, today we'll be making this bracelet, the Crystallized Circle Bracelet. And here's another version of it. But, this bracelet goes really well with my pillow. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, that's a coincidence but anyways here is the other version of the video uh the video really the bracelet and yeah so why did i just push that other one off and they both fell off anyways as usual i was dilly dallying what uh, dilly dallying really <laughs> anyway uh let's get to the video finally so in order to make the crystallized circle bracelet what you will need is a whole bunch of sequins so you need quite a lot because you do have 20 per circle so this bracelet is a great way to use up all of your sequins so yeah and i'll also be using silicone bands today not regular rain balloon bands and um silicone bands keep their shape better so i'm hoping that even though it's like fun to play with the shape of this, like this will probably turn out um, more circular. And yeah, so let's go. So this is the part which I call the chaining part because you're basically chaining all of these uh, bands together, but you're not doing the whole C-clip thing yet because this will help you get the exact number of band count. So you just want to get one C-clip, first of all, and attach it to the rubber bands. And don't forget this has to be two rubber bands. And try to make them stay like that and try not to make them twisted because it looks better like this. And do that with another rain balloon C-clip, like so. And you want to make sure they're all facing the same way in order it, for it to be symmetrical. And if you don't want it to be symmetrical, you can, like this, uh, you can just not face them the same way. But anyways, um, so you're going to do that, and then you're going to grab two of your next colour, which is pink for me. So this bracelet for me is going to be uh, alternating between pink and white. And as you can see, so there's this section right here. And um, so you want to align your pink bands or whatever color bands you're using and you can do this one at a time because it is quite um difficult in the beginning if you haven't got the hang of this and so my tip is to pinch them shut together like this they do move a little you just gotta have the right shape and then just connect them so i'm gonna do them one at a time because it's actually way easier and if you happen to be lucky or very skilled and got it first try, then super duper congrats to you. And so you want to make sure that they're even once again. So now we're going to do that um, all the way around until it fits the size of your wrist. So until it fits the size of your wrist, you want to stop. And I'm just going to skip and fast forward until I get to the size of my wrist. So I'll see you guys when I get to the size of my wrist. And a quick tip is to make sure that when you're placing your next C-clips on that they're not all the way over here because then your bracelet's going to be all lopsided so make sure that it's like directly in line with the other one. So five minutes later, I finished and it only took me seven pairs of rubber bands and I was careful to pay a meticulous attention to the rubber banding and making sure that it was straight and not twisted. So that will really help you in this bracelet because it'll make your bracelet better, look better and it'll just enhance it all together. So what you want to start off with is taking one of the end rubber bands and this is like a different method from all the inside ones and I'll explain that to you once I start teaching you how to do the inside ones 
For the outside one, you just want to place a total of 18 C clips on here from now on. Um, because basically, what I found that what fits like really well around the circle is 20 C clips, but we've already got kind of the space of two C clips here connecting them. So I decided that we could count them as two of the C clips, and so we just have to add on 18 extra C clips. So let's go one of the 18 extra C clips. Or you could say that was three out of the 20 C clips you have to put on, but I'm doing out of the 18. So one, two, and don't forget to stretch them out in like a fishtail fashion, like the way you would hold a rubber band for the fishtail, because it makes life easier. So that would be three. And once it gets really full here, what you want to do is you want to turn it around so that you have more free space here. And this method will not properly work in the inside ones, and I'll show you the method there. So how long was that? That was three? We've only done three? I thought we did like millions. Anyway, three. So that's four. That's a five. That's a six. Um, you are a seven. Please, please. Yay. You are an eight. Uh, and then you just want to switch it around, scooch it over. Scooch it all over again. And so that was eight. And then you still have this whole side to do, so that's eight. This is nine. This is ten. This is eleven. This is twelve. This is thirteen. Uh, 14 is this one, 15 is this one, 15, 16, almost there, 17, and finally 18. So now we have a total of 20 C clips on here. And at the end, you can go back and perfect them and I'll show you how to, but so far it looks like this. and. You can make it more circular later, I'll teach you a technique how to, but for now, this is really good. So, for the inside ones, it's a bit more complicated because you need to evenly space it out because you basically have two barriers here. So, just think of these as two barriers. And so this time, you only need to put 16 extra C clips on because these count as two. And, um... What you need to do is you need to put eight on this side and eight on this side. If you see what I mean, because if you put like nine on the side and seven on this side, it's going to muck up the shape of the circle. So you're going to put eight on this side of the barrier. So just move the barriers to like there and try to fit eight here. So that's one. That's a two. And I'll skip when I've got eight here. Okay, so I put eight on this side, and now you're just going to go ahead and do the same thing to just to this side. And I'll be back when I've done eight on this side too. Okay, so I put eight on this side, and as you can see, it is making a really nice circle there. Because we have equaled, got equal amounts of C-clips on each side. So just continue what you did for the second one. All the way down until the this second last one and then once again do exactly what you did for the first one on the last one so don't forget to put 18 C clips here instead of 16 like here so I'll skip and I'll see you guys when I'm done so once I've done um, there's a little twist to this so don't forget that this had 18, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 18, and that you had eight on either side of the barriers. Now we're going to take two C clips off the end of this last one to make 16 C clips, and I'll tell you why. So I told you to put 18 on in the beginning.
to make it uh, easier for you guys to understand. But now we're going to take two off. So I've just taken two off and now that's because we're going to add connect them with these two C clips which will make 20 in the end. So we're just going to take uh, two C clips that are opposite this C clip. So that's about these two. And then we're going to fold it over like this and connect them if possible. And yes. So connecting them is probably super hard, but you'll get there. Like I just did just then. I got there. And so now this is what it should look like. And you're probably going to have way more over here. So you're now probably going to have too much many uh, C clips on this side. That's okay. Just redo it and make sure there's eight on each side. And there is your bracelet. So it looks like this. And um, because I connected two wires together, it looks like this. But that's okay. And this is what my bracelet looks like. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. And yeah, and please leave a comment saying what kind of bracelets you want me to make. For example, bracelets on the rainbow loom, hook only bracelets, or bracelets that are hands only, like this one. And so I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!